All right, in this video, we're going to talk about greater than or less than, and we're going to use some integers, which includes uh, positive and negative whole numbers and also zero. That's what integers are. Uh, and we're going to use a number line. So let's plot these points on the number line first. Negative five right there, uh, three here, zero, negative one, and a positive two. Now the reason why I'm using the number line to get this idea across to you is this. The further the number is to the right, or the further the dot is to the right on this number line, the bigger it is. With that in mind, the biggest number out of all these numbers is actually three. It's not negative five. Three is the biggest number because it's the farthest number to the right on the number line. The smallest number will be the number that's farthest to the left. In this case, out of all these numbers you have, negative five is the smallest number because it's the farthest to the left. Now let's make sure we use these inequality symbols correctly. For example, if I wrote negative five and say uh, negative one, and we want to put one of these symbols in between these two numbers. The number that's farthest to the left on the number line is the smallest one. Um, in this case, negative 5 is farther to the left than negative 1 is. Think about these two symbols as being alligators. You want the alligator to open its mouth to the bigger number. This is the smaller number since it's the farthest to the left on our number line. Therefore, we open the alligator's mouth towards the negative 1. You can think about this as being money as well. If you had lost money, would you rather lose $5 or lose $1? Losing one dollar is better than losing five, so technically we are, that is the bigger number because we're not as far in the hole, so to speak. And uh, let's look at another one. How about, uh, let's say, zero and negative five? Which number is farthest to the left? The number that's farthest to the left is the smallest one. The number that's farthest to the right is the bigger one. Zero is farther to the right than negative five is, therefore we open the alligator's mouth towards the bigger number. So we can read this as zero is greater than negative five. Up here we can read this one as negative five is less than negative one. And again, the whole idea behind this, I'll draw another line up here. This is not a number line. The further you go to the right, you get bigger the further you go to the left, you get smaller. So two more quick examples to throw out there. Now two and three, you probably wouldn't even have to look at a number line because three is bigger than two, or we can read this as two is less than three. How about um, negative one and zero? Zero is farther to the right than negative one is. So zero is bigger than negative one, but we want to open the alligator up the right way. So we read this as negative one is less than zero. And let's see. Um, I think that's pretty good. Uh, but remember, farther you are to the right, the bigger it is. The farther you are to the left, the smaller it is. And that's how we use the number line to determine greater than or less than. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.